Hey Sci Guys, Cyanide's Voice here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean out a reptile tank. Make sure you wear gloves for pretty much the entire process, just as a safety protocol when you're handling, you know, animal mess and whatnot. So the first thing you need to do, don your gloves and take everything out of the tank. Now the way that I set up my reptile tanks is I put a layer of newspaper underneath the substrate so then I can just usually roll everything up using the newspaper if you can just get a grip underneath it and just roll it all up with all of the matter and then you can get most of the substrate done straight away. Then I just kind of scoop out as much as I can with my gloved hands and then when there's just, you know, when there's not huge amounts left of the substrate I go through with a, uh, what do you call it, little sweepy doodad and get the rest out. Um, some people just do spot cleaning and recycle their substrate by, you know, putting it through a sieve or something like that. But I just believe it's more hygienic to completely change the substrate every time. Oh, and make sure you've got to mention, make sure you've turned off all your heating and um, thermostat and stuff like that, or it'll go crazy and start beeping at you like mad. I left her system on for this video because I wanted the light on in the tank so you guys could actually see what was happening because it's really dark in there without it. After you've swept and taken everything out of the tank, I forgot to mention you should probably also take your animal out of the tank. Um, I'll link that video at the end of how I get Medusa out of the tank. Next, take your cage cleaner spray and give everything a real good spritz down. Then I generally leave that on for about a minute. Um, next, you're going to take all of your bits and pieces that were in the tank and rinse them off to make sure there's no substrate or excrement or anything like that on them. And then give them a spray, leave them for a minute, and then start again. So whichever thing you sprayed first, then scrub that first if that makes sense so that the spray stays on the surface for about a minute to kill any of the bacteria then I use a new washcloth and then I bin that washcloth when I'm finished like it should only be used for this and for nothing else afterwards I'm gonna give everything a good rinse so that there aren't there I mean this stuff that I use it's not unsafe for animals to ingest or have around them but it's a good idea to make sure everything's rinsed really well um, and basically when I finish rinsing everything, I put it into like a dish rack. So I've set up a dish rack on the floor and things just go in there as I go along. You pretty much get the idea of cleaning all the bits and pieces in the tank. And I always need literally almost an entire roll of paper towel every time I do this too. Because then I go and dry down everything that was in there. And yeah, wash your hands. It's hard to have the gloves on in that part because you're gonna get water all throughout them. Um, so then I go through and give everything just a brief pat down. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're a little bit wet because most reptiles do require a bit of humidity. And especially with their heat mat on and whatever the weather is where you are, things will dry in the tank. It's not unsafe for your animal to be in the tank if the humidity is high. Just check, you know, the stats for your particular animal. You should know if they require extra humidity or if it's going to be dangerous for them. So I, I go through and just kind of pat everything down and put it back in the drying rack. And then I go back and wipe down the inside and outside of the tank itself. And that's everything. I love that little skull. She used to fit inside it, but now she's too massive, but it's still a great decorative thing. I am O. So yeah, just get all the water out as best you can and obviously leave stuff in the drying rack so that it's going to drain properly, so concave side down. And obviously with the water bowls you don't need to dry the inside of them for obvious reasons. So I'm just drying the outside of the water bowls there. And that's her um, soaking tub, so that doesn't need to be dry on the inside either because it's going to have water in it. <laughs> Get everything in that there, the dish rack. Look at that. Oh, also, I, I treated the stick when I first got it. So if you're using any natural stuff, it generally doesn't need to be treated again because they'd be running into that stuff in the wild anyway. So I just treated it by putting it in the oven at a really low temperature for about an hour just to kill anything that could have been on it. So now we're going to return to the tank that's had the stuff, um, the spray sitting in it for ages. And you're going to go through with the chucks which is the wee washcloth, that's what we call them in Australia. And I, I kind of run back and forth because I'm just re-wetting it and rinsing it out. 
and just wipe down all the surfaces until they are clean and it doesn't overly reek of whatever cleaning thing you use. If you're using a cleaner like a bleach or something like that, you're pretty much gonna have to hose out that tank because that could be dangerous for the animal. Um, I don't use that method simply because that tank is so heavy. I'm not actually strong enough to carry it safely. I always need two people when I move this tank around. Looks like we're done. Everything's clean and smashing. All we need to do is dry out the tank with a bit of paper towel and we're all finished. Um, if you'd like to know how to set up a tank, then I have another video about that. I don't know why I left that bit in when I wasn't even on screen, but you can just appreciate how, how beautiful Gorgon is. That's Medusa's boyfriend. He's around the tank there. And again, you don't need to be super anal about drying everything perfectly because, as I said, uh, my animal at least, it's alright for her to have a bit of extra humidity and that shit's going to dry anyway. So, just not dripping. There's a little one. <laughs> I don't know why I left so much of this random shit in, but whatever. <laughs> you can see the feed on the computer screen as well. Sorry, that's a bit distracting. Alright, well thank you for watching the video, Sci Guys. I will see you in the next one. Hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to leave me a comment because I thrive on the validation of strangers. Okay, bye!